So I'm officially a few months into my FPV journey and I have broken my first drone. They say that if you want to make an omelet, then you gotta crack a few eggs. And that's true and all, but it definitely doesn't make things any easier when the cost of eggs are at an all time high. Oh, that was, that was my bad. Dang. That's a good first test though, on what to do. I'm actually kind of excited that it's broken. That's weird, but it's true. In this video, we're gonna be getting our hands dirty and we're gonna be learning how to solder. So let's get right into it. Los Angeles is not necessarily known for getting from place to place quickly and easily. So picking Friday every time I go to Pyro Drone is beyond me. I don't know why I do it. I apparently like torture, but with that said, we are heading to Pyro Drone right now. We're going to get a new motor. As you can see right here, we have some cables ripped out of the motor. We're gonna do our best to learn how to solder today and um, see if we can't fix it and get it back up in the air flying. We met up with our good friend Caleb and he gave me a little bit of insight on what I need to do to be able to solder this thing back together. We're gonna go to Home Depot, pick up this soldering iron real quick, and then we're gonna go back to the operation table. Hope for the best, you guys. Wish me luck. I'm super nervous. I'm not gonna lie, but at the same time, I'm extremely excited. So we have the practice board that we're gonna start off on. So we're gonna do that first. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Dang it, dude. These freaking wire cutters suck. First of all, I'm gonna put some glasses on. I'm oh, gonna look silly. I don't want to jack myself up. Heat up this a little the spot just a little bit. Oh, that's not clean. Oh, that's bad. Oh, you know what? That's what I need her to do. I need her to kind of put a little bit of solder onto the tip of it. And we'll kind of solder that up. That way we have a nice little bead of solder at the end of this. Okay, that one was a lot more clean. That one wasn't bad. I feel like I kind of hit, kind of hit the corner a little bit on that one, but we'll give it another shot. I got this thing cranked all the way up, man. All right, I'm not ready yet. Definitely not ready yet. That one wasn't bad. That one's a little cleaner. Two of them on this side. Yo, what's up, man? Got something for me? Appreciate you. Yeah, you too, man. What is this? Oh man, this whole time, I completely forgot about this. This is a flux pen, you guys. Oh man, I should have been using this the whole time. So, from what I heard is that this flux is supposed to like, make it a little easier for this stuff to stick to. So let's see if that's true. See if there's a difference. Yeah, those, those beads look a lot cleaner than the ones before. Yeah, I'd say that looks a lot cleaner. Perfect timing. Shout out to the Amazon guy that was able to get this to me right on time. Perfect. By the way, this is what we got for this, so. Not too bad. This was the first ones, and then this was the, the the second round. So these are a lot cleaner. Even though they're not the greatest, they're still cleaner. All right, so we're gonna take this thing apart. Now I've never done it before, so wish me luck, you guys. Hopefully I remember where all these go. Okay, cool, we're out. Dang, this is sick, actually. Yeah, let's get this motor off. Just like that, motor's off. Man, this kind of, I'm not gonna lie, this is a little nerve wracking because look at how close all that circuitry is to everything else. I guess we kind of just go for it, huh? 1404, 3000 KV by high flight. This is gonna be the new motor that goes on there. So we got this one on, so that's good. And then what we're gonna need to do is we're essentially gonna need to cut these cables short enough to be able to solder right onto this little spot right here. Freaking wire cutters suck. Man, these are out of control. These are so bad. Got all those off. All right, get out the way, 04 air unit. We're coming in. Okay, there we go. Finally, holy smokes. All right, now let's go to the board. Moment of truth. All right, we're on. We are on. Now we go to the next one. Get a little solder on this one. Okay, we got that one wet. Move on. All right, looks like we're on on that one. Now let's go to the last one. Okay, we wet that one and last but not least. All right, it looks like we're on. So it's these three right here going to the board right there. I mean, it's not the cleanest in the world, but it's on there good. I'm pretty confident in that too. We will take it. And I guess since we're here, we might as well just change out the props on these. I'm gonna be so happy if this actually all just works out. We got all new propellers now. I'll get the case back on. Son of a boom. Make sure that that's accessible. Make sure that that's tucked in. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, seems like that's all for the most part pretty good. All right, so 
we got a 4S battery in here, so moment of truth, if we light up and power up, ooh, let's go. Alright, so we know we at least didn't fry that. We're on. Let's go. And we have all four motors going too. Yes. Success, dude. It looks like we're back. Which one motor is it? Is this one right here? This is the motor. And that baby's rocking, so we're good to go. In general, fairly easy to do. Thankfully, those practice boards, they came in very handy, and I was able to kind of just like get my nerves out on those things. I screwed up quite a few times on that, so I'm glad that I had that. If you're scared or worried about learning how to solder, take it from me. The hardest part is getting over it and just doing it. That's the hardest part, so. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing in the air, make sure that it's running properly, um, get a real test. But as of right now, it looks like it's working fine. So, nice. All right, let's give it a go. It's actually really loud too. It doesn't have nearly as much power though, so that's an issue. I don't really know what's going on with that. It's not punchy at all. I gotta figure out what's going on with that. Yeah, it's mad loud too. Yeah, it's like really loud. It's not very punchy at all. So I got to figure out what's going on with that. It's not pushing up as quick as I wanted to. So I got to figure out what's going on with that. I don't know if I want to fly around with this too much. It's definitely not what it used to be. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if maybe I have the prop props on a little bit wrong because it is really loud too. Like really, really loud. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to take it back in and see what's going on with it. All right, so the good news is, is that we know how to solder now. Uh, we don't know how to solder great, but we do know how to solder. The not so good news is that unfortunately, this thing isn't working the same way that it was before we got started. So with that said, I'm gonna be going down to the drawing board and trying to figure out what's going on with it. Feel free to hit that comment section if you have any idea what you guys think would be going on because I would love to discuss that. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoy this type of content and want to get updates on what's going on with this particular drone and all the other content that I'll be putting out, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And uh, again, much love to you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching this video all the way to the end. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon, and we will see you on the next one. Be safe out there. Ooh. Oh, I just planted down the ground hard. We're good, though.